Syrophoenician woman um, was an Israelite, um, which is true. But he didn't have to say it the way he said it. He didn't have to speak with such pride and disrespect towards Mark, who is and was a follower of Yahweh Shai and a fellow brother. And he was a man of the Lord and inspired to write a record that we use today. Right? So it's, it's crazy because he's right on one thing. He's making a point which is correct that the um, Sarah Phoenician woman was an Israelite. But then to reinforce his, his, his point, his pride has him disrespecting a man of the Lord. A man who the Lord set up and chose to write an account which is used to this very day. And you can't say that's not the case. Because <laughs> that's what happens. It's part of the Gospels. So the Lord obviously set him up for that purpose. Okay. Now. Yes, Mark described her as a Syrophoenician woman. In, uh, was it Mark? I believe it's chapter 7. Let me get that up. Now, we understand that she was described as a Syrophoenician woman because she was an outcast of Israel. She was an Israelite that was um, dwelling outside of the commonwealth. She wasn't recognized by the Jews within Judea. And there was many Israelites that were in that, you know, condition. The outcasts of Israel, the children of God that were scattered abroad. So we know, according to the Spirit, with proper context that that woman had to be an Israelite and that's easily provable 